Well, hello guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed some of the lost footage I found. I found some good information in there. Um, I didn't want to throw it up before. I wasn't going to because it seemed a little redundant, you know, because you guys tune in these videos and I'm doing a lot of the, it's a lot of repetition. And uh, in the next couple videos, the next few are going to be about the same. Um, I am down to my last bent to put together, finally, my last bent. Then my first floor is stood, then we move up to the roof, and then there's going to be a lot of new stuff coming in the roof framing, different style scarf joints. Um, I Believe it or not, my level of organization is almost embarrassing for you maybe, but it's the way I work, so everybody will just have to live with it and uh, take me for who I am, so just the way it is. But anyhow, I decided to go with a gambrel style roof. Be a lot of new stuff on the second floor, and that's going to be fun. I'm. You guys have no idea how much I just want to get this kind of closed in because it's like every time it rains, you're looking at it. Every time it snows, you're looking at it, and you're just the whole time in the back of your minds. My God, is all that work I just did? Is it all just going to go to hell? <laughs> I don't want that. So, anyhow. That's where we're at. We're going to get going. These next few videos are probably going to be a lot more doing and not as much explanation. Um, if there's something I feel I haven't covered very well in previous videos, um, braces, I get a lot of questions on the knee braces. So I'm going to explain how to, I'm going to explain one more time how to figure out the knee brace and hopefully we can get it in better lighting than the last time. And maybe I could get a better camera shot than the last time so you guys can actually see what the hell I'm talking about. But uh, anyhow, stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. And we're going to get moving with it. This is what I'm talking about with this clamping mechanism. This thing is infuriating me. The thing just wandered an eighth of an inch in that cut. Getting irritated.
Oh, that is pissing me off. Well, the chain mortisers being a real peckerhead tonight, so I guess we're gonna go the long, slow way and get the uh, get the Forstner bit out, get the drill out, and just go with it. It's, this is quite honestly, this is just pissing me off. I got a shaft right here on the mortiser. This guy right here is worn out. I've tried turning it over. I've had it out of there a couple times. Driven these pins out a few times. It's just, it's destroyed. And uh, that's probably why it got sold to begin with. So I'm gonna go through. We'll give it one more shot. Doesn't work this time. I'm just ruining this mortise. Oh, it pisses me off. There's just some things you can't control, it's the way it is. Yeah, that's it. Damn it. Nothing but problems with that thing. Cuts great when it's cutting, I'll tell you that, but when it's not cutting so great. I'm not loving it, I'll tell you that. Son of a bitch. 